How's everyone doing? This is going to be a horror pillow collection video. I'm going to show you all of my horror pillows. And yes, I do have a collection of horror pillows. There's a bunch in here. I can't get them all in frame right here, but you can see a few of them. So yes, this is going to be my horror pillow collection video. Uh, first, I'm going to show you some ones that are a little, you know, beat up that I need to get new ones of. I'm hoping the site that I got these actually have these still because I know sometimes uh, stock changes, but I got uh, a majority of these pillows from Hard Decor. Uh, you can check them out on Instagram. They have a website as well. Uh, but these two right here, I have on my bed every single day. Uh, this one right here, I had hurt my arm a couple times before. So I had put this one underneath my arm. Uh, this is the original House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price right there. Very iconic uh, artwork right there. Really cool. And they use the real skeleton, much like in Poltergeist and many other movies. Uh, I watched, uh, you know, the Cursed Movies uh, series, and they talked about how, you know, it's cheaper to use real skeletons than to create their own. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. They talked about Poltergeist being a cursed film and how they use the real skeletons. They said they've been doing that for forever, including uh, for this one right here, House on Haunted Hill. So great image right there. And this one, uh, again, it's on my bed every single day. So I see it every day. And I just think that's super awesome. So I love that. Uh, very iconic. Again, I just one of my favorite horror posters right there, too. Let me know what your favorite horror movie poster of all time is. I don't think that's my number one, but it's up there. And let me know what your favorite Vincent Price movie is. Uh, this one has definitely seen better days. Uh, Larry Cohen's The Stuff. I remember loving this movie as a kid. And uh, Larry Cohen has got some great films. Let me know what your favorite Larry Cohen movie is. There we go. But yeah, you can see uh, it's a little bit faded and then it's got a bigger rip. This is what I lean my head on every night when I watch movies or anything in my bed. Um, so yes, uh, it's time to get a new one of these. I'm hoping uh, Hard Decor has more, especially for this one right here, the stuff. I remember when I was a kid, you know, you're not supposed to want to eat the stuff. I wanted to eat the stuff when I was a kid. Um, and then let's show the rest of the Hard Decor pillows. I've got two more of these smaller ones. I've got the Poltergeist, which is another iconic uh, shot right there. I was actually really surprised that they didn't use this artwork for the recent 4K release, not for the Steelbook or the slipcover version. Uh, same thing with Lost Boys. I feel like that was a missed opportunity for both of those. Such great, iconic, recognizable uh, movie poster artwork for those movies. So um, yeah, I did not like the artwork choices for either of the slipcover versions. The Poltergeist Steelbook was good, though. I liked that one. But I definitely would have preferred to see this classic artwork, uh, you know, the TV, Carol Ann. And I like the sequels for these two. I think I watched the uh, the second and third one a lot on TV, uh, but the first one's just iconic. I love them all though. Really cool pillow. And then next up, my all time favorite movie, not just my favorite horror movie. Let me know what your favorite horror movie is and your favorite movie of all time. John Carpenter's The Thing, uh, New Cone's Score, Dean Cundey's Cinematography, Rob Bottin's Practical Effects. Best practical effects ever for me for a movie. Still uh, holds up and the, the whole cast was incredible. Um, I named my dog Mac after McCready. Uh, but there's the glow face design right there. I've seen this movie over a hundred times. It's one that I watch a couple times a year, uh, my all time favorite. So I had to get the pillow for this one. Uh, that classic uh, Drew Struzman artwork. I love horror movies with a snowy setting. This has it in spades. Uh, and you know, that sense of isolation and paranoia. Uh, I absolutely love this one. So I had to get the pillow and I love it. And then we've got the Hellraiser uh, Lament Configuration a puzzle box design, which is a bigger pillow. I'll go ahead and show you in comparison. So you can get an idea of the size, uh, differential, but I haven't seen the new Hellraiser uh, on Hulu one. I know there's a lot of people talking about, you know, the, the lead right there, but I guess in the original book, Clive Barker had a female penhead character. And so I, I know a lot of people are gonna, you know, judge certain movies on certain political views and stuff like that, but I feel like that's unfair. Uh, and there's social commentary uh, on horror movies. It's been, you know, since, you know, way back in the day, George uh, Romero, Dead Trilogy. I remember talking about that a while ago and I had comments. What are you talking about? There's no social commentary. Well, you'd be blind not to see some of that. It's so blatant uh, for a lot of that. Uh, you'd be oblivious. I'm looking forward to checking out uh, the new Hellraiser one on Hulu because actually the Cenobites look super creepy. And the trailer that I saw for it and the clips looked awesome. So I'm really uh, souped to check that one out. If you've seen the new Hellraiser on Hulu, definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know what your favorite Hellraiser sequel is outside of the first three. Because I feel like those are really the most popular. I really like Hellworld. 
uh, that doesn't get enough love and appreciation, uh, in my opinion. But uh, for me, Hellraiser is rough. It's a very mixed bag with the sequels. Uh, but I'm really excited to check out the new one. Again, I liked the trailer. I thought uh, the Cenobites looked super creepy and looked like it had great atmosphere. So I'm expecting a dark, moody, atmospheric horror movie. And it looks like it's going to have some good blood and guts and gore and stuff like that. Some good uh, gore effects and practical effects. So I'm excited for it. Uh, so you know, that's one that I really want to hear people's opinion on. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, but there you go, really cool uh, pillow right there, again, from Horror Decor. And then here's just like kind of a, a spooky one with Curiosity Shop, uh, rare objects and oddities, all things strange and exotic. You got a crow, a uh, candelabra, a spider, a skeleton, some spooky tomes and books. So that one looks pretty cool too. And a nice quality on this one. Uh, I believe this was like an Etsy one. Here's another Etsy one. This one is incredible. Look at that. Killer Clowns, Matter Space, and, you know, the Cotton Candy Cocoon. Drinking it up through the straw right there. So freaking cool. Love that design so much. Uh, trapped in a Cotton Candy Cocoon, it says down there. And we're seeing so much Killer Clowns, Matter Space merchandise, trick-or-treat merchandise, even a lot of uh, John Carpenter's The Thing stuff coming out now. Figures and posters and different other releases, 4K and Blu-ray releases. And I'm really happy to see that. Uh, so it's really cool and uh, gives you an opportunity to get more cool stuff for movies that you love. Uh, and that's just an awesome shot for this pillow. Uh, this was from uh, Etsy, really good quality for it. And I'm sure you can look these up on Etsy just by typing in Killer Clowns pillow or, you know, uh, Curiosity Shop pillow, Strange Oddities pillow. And then last but certainly not least, is my Elvira pillow. And there's her uh, face right there, her iconic hairdo. Uh, she's an horror icon for sure. And this was from uh, the Trenton Punk Rock Flea Market. They have vendors there, and that's where uh, this one is. This looks like it's uh, officially licensed and uh, a really nice high quality one too. Um, I don't know what brand that is that makes it, but a really cool pillow and I love it. So. Um, that's always in my bedroom too. Uh, so I have a bunch of, you know, horror pillows all over the place in my bedroom and, uh, I'm happy to be surrounded by movies, uh, that I love in pillow form. So there you go. There was my horror pillow collection. Uh, this, is this a first on YouTube, a horror pillow collection, uh, video, <laughs> but I don't, I think they're awesome. I'm going to get so many more again. Uh, Etsy has some cool ones. There's other different uh, companies out there, but Hard Decor is someone that I've got a bunch from the past that I've shown right there. And I want to get more from them too. I know they have the different, you know, like when I was a kid, we had uh, the wrestling figure ones where it's like the, a pillow in the shape of a figure and they have different ones like that or they used to, I hope they still do for, you know, uh, different characters like Leatherface and uh, Jason. Um, so Freddy Krueger. Uh, so I hope they have those again, those like, you know, figure pillows. Those look really cool. And I definitely need to replace these two pillows. Uh, the house on Hunnan Hill, again, is a little bit faded, but the stuff absolutely needs to be replaced because it's got a rip and it is faded. Uh, but I've had these for a long time, uh, I believe for like a decade now. So uh, and then some of the other hard decor ones I've had for like eight or nine years. So I've had these pillows for a while and they're sturdy. And again, for these ones, I use them every single day. The other ones I've had, you know, just out and they still look great. Um, so if you're not, you know, laying your arms or heads on them, they can probably withstand for a long, long time. And these ones still are holding up. Um, <laughs> this one's seen better days, but uh, again, I put my head on this every single day. But there you go. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite horror pillow is that I just showed you. And if you have any horror pillows in your collection or anything really unique horror-wise, leave me those comments down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care and keep it spooky.